Thank you guys for watching. Today I'm going to give you guys a really quick video covering the new Windows 10 IoT Enterprise LTSC 2021 product. My name is Ken Marlin. I'm the Microsoft Windows champ and I'm also the Microsoft supplier manager here at Aero Electronics. My job is to bring you guys the latest news around Windows IoT products. And today I'm going to make it a quick overview with the Windows 10 IoT Enterprise LTSC 2021 roadmap. So let's start with the roadmap. Um, I like to show the roadmap in my videos. And in this case, I really just want to focus on the darker blue color there at the bottom, the Windows 10 LTSC 2021 product, which is getting closer to launch. So as we get closer to the October estimated timeframe, um, I want to make sure you're aware of the latest news on this product. Um, it's also important to know all the older LTSC, LTSB products are still widely available. As you can see, this chart shows you the end of life and the end of support dates. Plenty of life and support left in both, all of the three of those products, 2015, 2016, 2019. Um, but you want to be aware of this new product because you can uh, take advantage of the new features that, that it includes and maybe transition your product to this new product. Or if you're starting a new project, you may want to download the preview version of this and start testing if you want to get your hands on this product and start testing it, make sure you reach out to us. I can walk you through how to make that happen. Let's take a look at the features. Um, I would suggest you just pause the video and go through these because uh, I'm not going to cover them all today. But the thing to know is this is a convergence of the IoT Core product and the IoT Enterprise product. Basically taking the best of what everyone liked, customer feedback of those products and merging them into the best of the best. So um, one thing to note is there's a new uh, acronym called eFlow. So if you look at number one and two on that chart, that's the edge for Linux on Windows. It's running Linux in a container um, on Windows platform. Make sure you check that out. It's really nice features coming with that. Lots of new silicon around Intel and ARM. You notice the chart doesn't have ARM, but this product will be supporting ARM silicon more to come on that small footprint a huge benefit of this new product the ability to reduce your footprint even getting down to possibly in the eight gig space range um, and then many new management and control and lockdown features and ability to manage your your devices remotely and control them um, for, for more so than you could previously and then lastly full win 32 support as you know iot core did not support win 32 um, while Enterprise did, and this new product even um, will continue to do Win32 support. So, And then I want to wrap up with a very important message that was around the support, the 10 years of support. So back in February, Microsoft published this out on a website. I'll put the link down in the description um, because this little uh, website here has lots of little links in here that are good to have. The thing to point out is the bold part is indicating that the Windows 10 IoT Enterprise LTSC edition will continue to have 10 years of support. But the other version, Windows 10 Enterprise LTSC, the non-IoT version, will be reduced from 10 years down to five. Um, and people get those two products confused quite often. I'm gonna do another video and hopefully I'll put the link to this, that video where I compare those products together. I'll put that link down there. But make sure you know that the IoT version of Windows 10 Enterprise LTSC will continue to have 10 years of support. And with that, I'll wrap this video up. Make sure you contact us at msembedded at arrow.com if you wanna get your hands on this product, you wanna play with it. Uh, if you wanna learn more about it, um, if the IoT program is new to you, you wanna you know, join the program, sign a CLA. I have lots of videos on that, how to get started, reach out to us. Make sure you're using us. Um, I also wanna make sure that you subscribe to the channel. So hit the subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification uh, when we post more videos. And my goal is to try to get more news and more videos out to you as quickly as possible. So again, thank you guys for watching.